There's a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or where it gets its start. But the happiness it brings you gives you a special lift and you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. I just love people. I'm Ernie Taylor and uh, I'm 91 years old and uh, I'm on my little hobby farm out here uh, north of Zionsville. We bought this little farm uh, in 1962. Thought it'd be a good place to raise our boys. I lost my wife here uh, August the 14th, bless her heart. We'd been together 62 years. And I don't have computers, I don't have uh, uh, cell phones, credit cards or nothing. I just live within my means and uh, I'm a happy man. I was a kid during the old depression, you know, and. I remember one time, uh, all I had to eat was parched corn, and that's just old brown kernel corn on the stove. And thank God for that, it'll keep you alive, you know, but then I lied about my age, and I was in the Occupation Army in Italy at the end of World War II, and uh, those two things taught me that um, the best thing you can do is just be sure you can eat. So that's what I try to do. I've kept my life simple, but it's been a great, wonderful life. And uh, my little hobby farm here uh, just keeps me going. I just enjoy the things I do around here and uh, keeps me young. My dad was born in 1882 and my mother was born in 1892. My dad had a fourth grade education and my mother had an eighth grade education. Now back in those days, she could have taught a rural school uh, with that eighth grade education, a one-room school. So it's not as bad as it seems, but I was the youngest one of six kids, and when I come along, I was the only one that graduated out of high school. Back in those days, all the work was mechanical. It's not that way anymore, you need an education. But my parents didn't know to head me towards a, a college education. Had they had done so, we wouldn't have had the money to do it anyhow. But uh, I just thought that if I could just learn how to weld, I could really amount to something. Well, that's the course I took, and I worked out of the Plumbers and Steam Fitters Local 440, a long-time employee of BMW Constructors, and uh, it's just been real rewarding. It was hard work, but it was good, honest work, and uh, you come home tired, but you was, uh, you was uh, gratified because uh, you could see what you'd done for the day. I started making birds out of old shovels and uh, and uh, little lizards out of uh, old files and just various little things. And uh, I just designed things out of my junk pile instead of going buying a bunch of stuff to make it. Some of it comes out good, some of it I'm real proud of, and some of them not so good, but uh, they're all conversation pieces. And that's what keeps me going. I think the ones I like most is uh, maybe the dinosaurs. Uh, took me four, five, maybe six years of dragging in parts to make them. Finally, after all this time, I decided I had enough stuff to make one. There's all kinds of little trinkets around here I uh, I enjoy, but uh, I don't call myself an artist. I don't know. It just uh, it's just something I enjoy doing, and uh, to me, there's no work around here. It's just uh, it's just joy. I don't know what inspires me to do this. I think it's the people I meet that uh, I like the most. And uh, we just get people from every place, but it's just, a, it's just a word of mouth. People get a little aggravated with me sometimes when I, I don't sell things, but uh, I tell people that I'm buying, I'm not selling, you know. I just enjoy it. My dad used to say, be happy with who you are and what you've got. I'm just happy being old Ernie and haven't got much, don't want much, don't need much, but life is good. Well, I might be old, but I ain't dead. 
Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Well, too old to cut the mustard, it'll never be said. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Well, 91 years old, my life a hanging by a thread. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. But for every time comes a time when I ain't able. Get your buns out of bed and your biscuits on the table.